What up though, it's Philip Tech. Today, we're gonna see if charging your smartphone with a different power supply really makes a difference. For this test, we're gonna be using the Samsung Galaxy S22 alongside the old 15 watt adaptive fast charger that used to come in the phone box before Samsung cheaped out, the 25 watt super fast charger that's on sale online for $20, and the new 45 watt super fast charging brick that's on sale for $50 and it only works for the S22 and newer versions. Here is a side by side by side comparison of the 15 watt charger, 25 watt charger and 45 watt charger. So the phone was tested in the same environments with all three chargers and it was at 0% from the beginning. And within a minute on I did turn on the phone on as you can see, some of them start earlier than the other ones, 15 watt being the slowest. And then I'm checking the battery every five minutes to see what percent it's at. And as you could see, the 25 watt charger and 45 watt charger are already 10% more than the 15 watt charger. The first 30 minutes are the most important. That's when the phone is charging the fastest. As you can see, the 15 watt is considerably so slower than the other two from the beginning, but it does catch up in the end. Surprisingly, the 25 and 45 watt charger are pretty close side by side in terms of percentage. There's only a percent difference between them, but they are pretty far ahead when compared to the 15 watt charger and you can see the difference get larger as time goes on. So at the 55 point mark, the 45 and 25 watt charger are pretty close to being done. The 45 watt power supply charges the phone to 100% after one hour and six minutes. The 25 watt power supply charges the phone to 100% after one hour and 11 minutes. And the 15 watt power supply charges the phone to 100% after one hour and 22 minutes. So let's take a look at a graph just so we can see the times a little bit easier. As you can see the chart here, the 25 watt and 45 watt charger are side by side for most of the time and 3% through 4% separation after 40 minutes in charge percentage. In the end, there's only a five minute difference between the 25 watt charger and 45 watt charger. I mean, that is not a big difference overall when you take a look at it with that. With the 20 watt power difference, you would expect the phone to charge faster, but it really doesn't. The 15 watt charger actually starts slower from the beginning and does take uh, quite a bit of time to catch up. But overall, I mean, the trajectory of the 15 watt charger is more linear compared to the other two. And it finished after one hour and 22 minutes with there being a 10 minute difference compared to the 25 watt power supply and the 15 minute difference compared to the 45 watt power supply. At the end of the day, the 45 watt charger didn't make as big of an impact as I thought. It was relatively close to the 25 watt charger. For the price difference of $30, I'd rather go with the 25 watt charger. With the 15 watt charger, if you have it, you can still use it. Just know that there are uh, chargers with faster speeds out there, but it's not really necessary for you to go out there and buy it. Currently, I'm still using the 15 watt charger and I'm not planning to switch it out until the power supply breaks or I just need a new cable. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Till next time, see ya.